in terms of when people ask me about the new world order, I think it's very much about moving into the combination of data analytics and technology and a very much ri richer ecosystem. You know, I've seen during the time I've been running a media agency go from purely transactional, where we were looking at analog world, looking to one where it's a much more blurred world, where all these different assets come together in, a much, in an opportunity to create much richer experiences for our clients and, of course, for consumers. Advertising's new world order means reimagining everything, going from a TV-led industry to a digitally-led industry. And I think it starts with the fundamentals. How, we, how do we plan? How do we organize? How do we budget? How do we measure success? If we don't get those things right, the details around the new world order are really unimportant because you will not be set up for success. Advertising's new world order to us, I think, means uh, an adoption of far more different types of media. Uh, particularly those that are placed in the physical world. And so um, when we think about many of the tools and techniques that we associate with online advertising, I think the New World Order extends those to physical objects, physical displays. So for me it's about the uh, emancipation of media from uh, behind a screen to the streets. We live in a time of disruption and we're so used to looking at things um, you know, on different platforms and we're in a time when we need to think about kind of agnostic channels and work that into our business institution. So I think that anyone who's going to be successful moving forward um, is going to have to basically be an expert when it comes to um, channel agnostic strategy. Advertising's new world order for me is these two different ways of thinking creatively combining and uniting, right? So there's, there's, there's two cultures uh, out there in the world that is sort of intersecting with media, one of them which is this more uh, uh, sort of nostalgic storytelling, right, which is still relevant, but it's sort of, it's clashing right now with, uh, with a creativity which is about enabling behaviors. Uh, they're very different. One is about creating systems and the other one's about creating stories. And there is a natural uh, separation between these things that we need to sort of combine. So for me, that's a big thing. That's the thing that I spend most of my time on is getting these two ways of thinking coming together in a similar way to what Burnback did with art and copy. To me, it's really just um, a continuation of a, a world order that actually has been changing for the past 30 years. Um, you know, the era of creatively led advertising folding into the era of data-led advertising, I think is what it's all about. The complexity of that from the perspective of what data, how you use that data, um, how actionable is that data, how permissible is it, and then what are the technologies required to really activate it, married with the art of creative expression and insight and kind of driving that emotive experience. To me, that's what that new world order is all about. And I, again, I don't see it as new. I see it as something that's just a continuum that has been changing and now data has taken the front seat from my, my perspective. So advertising's new world order. I think about it as a difference in the type of conversations that we have. My parents, they liked to be talked to, but the people that read back channel, they like to be talked with. That to me is the new world order for advertising. The new world order means that the user is now the boss. They determine who's in their inner circle of trust, and advertisers need to fight to get in. Advertising's new world order, um, undefined, undefined. Um, I think you know we were up on stage talking about the fact that really no one knows where the world is heading over the next five years, and the last 12 months have seen more change, at least in my not that long career. Um, I think there's some really big open questions, and I brought up the whole, everybody's been talking about church and state and where that goes for the next five years. Well, I actually think it's about state and its allies and the conflicts that we're gonna see between publishers and agencies and even clients and brands. 